Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. Rob Moore, what do you wish you had said on last week's show, but you didn't? Well, I didn't have enough time to really elaborate on the potential replacement for Judge Allison Duncan on the Fourth Circuit. And that's a really important slot. North Carolina has only a handful of seats, and, uh, and no announcement's been made yet, and a lot of very well-qualified uh, judges and lawyers in North Carolina have We'd been like under. to be considered. Well, yeah, and, and I think we're considered. And, and if the, the rumor on the street is correct, that this young woman, whose only connection to North Carolina was, was that she was the Duke undergrad, and that she spent the last eight years with this very conservative ideological uh, courts group, uh, is the, the chosen one, no matter how smart she may be. I, I, I just think it's an important issue. She has no, con no real connection to North Carolina, and candidly, she's never practiced law. And I just don't think we should be putting people who are judges, as judges, uh, on our highest courts with us. Well, how, did her, how did her name surface, just for curiosity? I, I, well, she's very close to the Trump administration. Her husband works uh, as a lawyer and works for the Trump administration. I'm sure Judge Sintel, who everybody has a great deal of respect uh, uh, on the D.C. circuit, is from North Carolina. So I, I think they were looking for somebody young, looking for a female, and looking for an ideologue, and she checks all of those boxes. Interesting. Well, uh, further evidence of politicizing the courts? Absolutely. Interesting. Well, thanks for watching the After Spin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.